It's Friday the 16th day of November 2018. Welcome to New Vision TV News around Uganda. I am Rothina Sejen. These are the stories making headlines across the country. We start the bulletin from Soroti District. Now, if you cannot delay getting sick, then consider seeking treatment in a private clinic or travel elsewhere, but not Soroti Regional Referral Hospital. The facility is short of specialized doctors, the acting hospital. Director Dr. Francis Murani has said. Now, the hospital director was speaking in an exclusive interview with the New Vision last week. He said the hospital should have 28 specialists, but currently it only has 11. The, uh, the surgery department has no surgeons, leaving the 65 year old hospital that serves nine districts to depend on volunteer or intern doctors. The shortage of specialized doctors is as a result of some joining Soroch University, while others are on study leave. Crossing over to Kamuli District, now over 7,500 pupils in, pri in 12 primary schools in Kamuli are now getting lunch thanks to the government of South Korea. Now the development has not only re relieved parents of the burden of contributing towards feeding the children, but also improved enrollment in the beneficiary schools. Funded by the Korea International Development Institute and Korea Food for the Hungry International, the project which started on the onset of that term is a feeding program geared towards boosting retention, enrollment and academic achievement. The intervention is a response to the national outcry of lack of meals in primary schools as parents reportedly failed to contribute 4 kilograms of maize and 2,000 shillings for mailing it. You're watching the news around Uganda. I am Ruth Inasaji, but let us take a break and look at what is making headlines into this copy of the New Vision. So today we have the Kampala Sun. This is what is coming out of the paper that comes out every Friday of the week. If you cannot access the hard copy of these two papers, you can subscribe to our e-paper. Here you can get all the products published by Vision Group. You're still watching New Vision TV news around Uganda. I am Ruth Inasajet as continue looking at more stories making headlines across the country. Now from Sironko District, International Relief and Friendship Foundation Uganda, a charitable organization engaged in helping communities fight poverty and disease in their households, was on Wednesday overwhelmed by residents of Bualasi sub-county in Sironko District who were suffering from jiggers. Now, the residents who included men, women, and children, some of them looking frail, flocked to the compound of Boala C Theological College, where a group of volunteers from the International Relief and Friendship Foundation uh, and Bugisu Muslim Development Center removed jiggers, while others visited the villages in Buki Parish to fumigate homes. Donning white gowns and armed with safety pins, nail cutters, razor blades, hand towels, plastic gloves, and antiseptic chemicals, the volunteers used water and sponges to clean the feet or, and hands before scooping out the jiggers. Now, John Wamunga, a resident of Sironko district, both his feet and hands over 70 jiggers were removed. Now, he said he lives in a, in a mud and water house with his wife and two children, and all of them have been attacked by the jiggers and cannot work in the gardens to grow food for themselves. Several of the children cried of pain as volunteers removed the jiggers and cut fingers and toenails before applying chemicals into the open wounds in their feet and hands. 
closing off the bulletin is a story from Dokolo district where another new vision reader has come to the aid of Dokolo woman who claims to be 130 years old. This is coming after a week when Sarah Odonga, new vision reader, supported the old woman with 550,000 shillings, which was delivered to her by Rupini editor Robert Okui. Now on Wednesday afternoon, Okui delivered 500,000 shillings from Laban Musinguzi, living in the diaspora of Clementina Akulu at her home in Amulisel, Eastern Ward, Dokoro Town Council. Dokoloman MP uh, Cecilia Atimogwal has also said that she's going to construct a house for the old woman. Thank you for watching. This has been the news around Uganda this week. We shall catch up more news next week. Just stay on the New Vision website where you'll get more news updates and other programs on New Vision TV. It is www.newvision.co.eug forward slash video. You can also follow us on our YouTube channel, which is New Vision TV, our social media platforms. Facebook is The New Vision, and Twitter is at New Vision Wire. Instagram is at New Vision Wire. And you can also catch up with me on my Twitter handle, which is Rothy the Voice. Thank you for watching. See you next week.